Hello guys, I hope everyone is fine. In today's video, we will be discussing the concept of uh, multiplication of uh, large integers. So there's a general problem where we have two inte uh, integers, which are let's say 9, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9 uh, is multiplied with 6, 9, 7, 1, 2, 3. So this is a uh, if if I basically multiply A multiplied with B, brute force method that we have discussed so far in our early uh, early degree days. So it is uh, where we are going to multiply 3 with all 9, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9 digits and 2 with them, then 1 with all of them, 7 with all of them. It is uh, firstly a very costly procedure. costly procedure in the sense of time it is a very time taking procedure and uh, there are lots of multiplications which are involved so to basically give away uh, to basically solve this particular scenario divide and conquer strategy came up with a very simple methods it is coming up with two methods uh, where uh, the complexity can be reduced, number of multiplications uh, can also be reduced. Uh, what it will do is it will divide the number into equal parts and then multiply using those parts let's divide the uh, it's again divide and conquer divide the problem into sub problems solve those sub problems and uh, again provide the solution of the entire problem multiply those sub parts right so i am going with this particular scenario where a is multiplied with b this is these are two large numbers now what we have to do is uh, let's say there are n number of digits uh, firstly First important uh, scenario is that number of uh, digits of A and B must be same. So it should have similar number of digits. If A is a digit, uh, A is a number, B is a number, A should uh, have N digits and B should have N digits. If it does not have the similar digits, make them equal digits let's say a is 235 and b is 6978 so b is having four digits a is having two digits so a should be made as 0 to 35 very very important conditions in this particular scenario now the multiplication uh, function uh, is uh, this is which is a 1 multiplied with b 1 so if if i am basically using a so a and b both will be divided as a 1 a 2 and b 1 and b 2 this is what we have to do uh, a will be divided as a 1 a 2 b will be divided as b 1 b 2 fine so this entire scenario if a is given as 2135 and b is given as 4014 i will divide a as this is a1 this is a2 b as this is b1 this is b2 so the formula is a multiplied by b using divide and conquer approach is a1 multiplied with b1 it is multiplied with 10 raised to power n n is the number of digits in 2135 number of digits are 4 and even 4104 the number of digits are 4 then we have a1 multiplied with b2 plus b1 multiplied with a2 this is multiplied by 10 raised to uh, 10 n by 2 10 raised to power n by 2 if there are four digits it will be multiplied with 2 and answer will be a2 multiplied with b2 this this is the entire solution of this particular problem this is a formula that we need to remember 
a1 multiplied with b1 then it is multiplied with 10 raised to power n a1 b2 b1 a2 multiplied with 10 raised to power n by 2 and a2 multiplied with b2 this is whole scenario so how we, we will be doing it it's a very simple thing uh, firstly, uh, you can even calculate it, but I am doing it uh, 2, 1. A1 is 2, 1. It is multiplied with 40, multiplied with 10 raised to power 4. This was the number of digits. Then A1 was 21. B2 was 14. Plus uh, B1 was uh, 40. And A2 was 35. This is multiplied with entirely multiplied with 10 raised to power 4 by 2 which is 10 by 10 raised to power 2 and it is multiplied with 35 multiplied with 14 guys even uh, you can try this whole scenario you can even multiply 2 1 3 5 multiplied with uh, 4, 4, 4 0 1 4 so the answer is 2 1 3 5 uh, multiplied if, if you try to multiply this whole scenario uh, so, generally, you have the calculator with you. The answer would be multiplier would be 8569890. So, this is the answer that we have got. Now, the entire scenario is 21 multiplied with 40 multiplied with 10 raised to power 4. So, 21 multiplied with 14. Uh, 21 multiplied with 40 uh, is 840. 840, um, it is multiplied with 10 raised to power 4 would be 1, 2, 3, 4. This is one answer. Then you try to have multiplication of 21 with 14. That is 294. You can take 294. And that is added with uh, 40 uh, multiplied with 35. This is 1400 and this is entirely multiplied with 100 and then we are multiplying 35 with a 14 that is 490 and even guys try this whole scenario we have got 8 four. total 1 2 3 4 5 then 169 so this is 169400 plus 84 plus 490. If you calculate this whole scenario, you will find the answer as 1694. So the answer, if you entirely multiply it with, it is 8569890. So you try it out. So this is how this whole particular situation works. Now, let's come to the analysis of it. So if I put the analysis of this whole scenario, uh, our answer was A1 multiplied with B1. Uh, that thing, it is dependent upon the number of digits. Uh, then we got A1 multiplied with B2 plus uh, B1 multiplied with A2 and that entire scenario multiplied with 10 raised to power n by 2 and we got uh, A2 multiplied with B2. If I try to analyze the whole scenario, how many multiplications I took, this is one multiplication, one dividing function we are using, one dividing function how? Because you have actually divided A with A1 and 
a2 b with b1 and b2 so this is one dividing function now a1 and b2 b1 and a2 so again another dividing function you have applied and which is uh, entirely multiplied with 10 raised to power 9 by 2 technically uh, you did two multiplications here this is another multiplication you have done this is another multiplication you have done and this is another multiplication you have done so basically technically you took 4 t n by 2 plus 1 multiplications so if if you if you try to analyze this whole scenario this scenario is analyzed in this way that a value if you write t n would be a t n by b uh, plus n by k log of p n so the complexity if i analyze uh, a value is 4 b value is 2 k value is 0 p value is 0 we have to check log of base 2 4 which is log of base b a is greater than k in that particular scenario what we did log of b a when it is greater than the answer for that is i guess from the previous video the answer would be order of n of log of b a it means order uh, it would be order of n square this is one kind of thing that you basically have to see now this analysis uh, was giving us a uh, time complexity of if I basically calculate this analysis, uh, I got order of n log b which is 2 and a which is 4 and the answer is order of n square. This can also be reduced. This question can also be reduced in this way that there is another method, method to solve it. Another method, if I basically use, that would be uh, A multiplied with B, it will give us, see, this one answer is same, A1 multiplied by B1 multiplied by 10 raised to power N, then A2 multiplied with B2, this is another case, uh, but this case, this is the important one what we are going to do a1 plus a2 this is multiplied with okay I'll, I'll just write it in another way i'm writing it uh, to make sure everything is smooth will give us a1 plus a1 sorry multiplied with b1 this is multiplied with 10 raised to power n which is, is fine and then we have got uh, a2 multiplied by b2 but this is refined now guys a1 plus a2 this is multiplied with b1 plus b2 now this answer is uh, subtracted with a1 multiplied by b1 and a2 multiplied with b2 this whole scenario now technically if if you see how many multiplications i have done here actually if if i have to basically analyze this whole part earlier i was multiplying uh it and it will be multiplied with 10 raised to power n by 2 don't forget about that now, if if you see this thing, 
this is one particular part which I am multiplying along with these two small multiplications. This is a major multiplication with n. This is also another multiplication. So entire multiplication I can take it as uh, there are uh, if 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 I have to see because this answer uh, we have already calculated. This answer we have already calculated. We are using them over here only. So technically, how many multiplications we have done? First important multiplication. Second important multiplication. Don't count these two because these are first and second important multiplication you have done. The important multiplication is another important multiplication is this one. So this is the third one. So again, guys, the answer would be same. The complexity would be order of 3 of t of n by 2 plus 1. Why I'm putting 3? Because I'm using these two answers over here. Right? Now, 3t n by 2 plus 1. So how we are going to calculate? Again, you can calculate again your a value was 2135. B value was 4014. This was your a1. This one, your A2, you can even try to calculate the answer would be same, B2. So this was another advanced method. And if what will be the complexity of it would be order of N, uh, sorry, order of N raised to power log of BA, that would be order of N log of 2, 3. So this is the complexity of it. If you like this video, kindly like, share and subscribe. And kindly put it in the comment section if you have any sort of doubt. Thank you very, very much.